So welcome back to Engines Place and I have here Harley Quinn uh, premium format exclusive from Sideshow Collectibles. She's pretty dynamic, really beautiful stuff. She has like very uh, colorful, I, I really like the red for her uh, and I also like the expression. I even like the the regular head, the, the ant mask head, I, I really like this one. Uh, and actually it also arrived uh, damaged. So this is the second body that I got uh, from Sideshow. So they replaced the body. Um, the, the damage was actually in the arm. The arm was actually like removed the, this, I think, left arm. And the entire part, it, it was, uh, let's say, uh, broken quite clean. But the, in the tip most, it was somehow like a damaged. So I asked Sideshow, they replace it, it arrived. This is already the new body. That's why I'm so excited. I also didn't create the, the video yet because I also want to include the, how I would say, the, the video for how I break the other body because Sideshow needs, uh, told me that I have to break when this also arrives. So uh, keep watching, stay tuned. You'll see the, the showcase for the showcase video for Harley Quinn, how I break the other uh, damaged body and also the review so keep watching i hope you would enjoy click the thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel the ancient's place So to get started, uh, Harley Quinn is still available inside your website and it has an edition size of a thousand for the exclusive 
and for the collect collector edition it has an uh, edition size of 2000 um for the exclusive edition it has actually had a um price tag of 575 and the exclusive version is this um how would say the this this piece here i hope you can see this little dude there um it's actually pretty good i always like this one i they're like like jack in the box uh the same with with the prime one i really do like this one um i even also pre previously pre-ordered uh the joker but i just like this uh i actually caught um let's say canceled my joker because i have a joker already and i, I and the, the joker the premium format joker didn't really uh, connect to me compared to this one i really want this because or i really like this one because it's really the vibrant color of the red really amazing stuff so and i didn't like the color of the the, the joker so i continue with this pre-order because i just love this lady here so to continue with the details um basically she's not that big um she's very easy to to how would say to display she has a dimension size in here in the website which is um 19 inches by 11 and 5 and 12 or a depth of 11 inches and also 11.5 in the in the width so it's not actually that big and she's actually pretty good so to go to the piece, uh, the base is absolutely very good. I really like the, how would say the wood, uh, the wood effect here. Um, I really like it. I also like how vibrant or how they place this dynamites here. It looks absolutely good. It gives color to the base because the base is actually quite dull because of the dark wood and the, and the, I think it's a, somehow like a gravel or something. So it, it's pretty good. I, I like how it's done and I also love how it's tilted. At the back, there's somehow like a barrel or something. Um, other than that, the the for me the main attraction of the base is actually this wood and some of this dynamite. It, it just gives the vibrance of the piece. It gives color as well. Going up further, the peg or let's say yep, yeah, the peg of, uh, that connects to the 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 body in the base. It's actually pretty good. It's not the typical pegs where it's round. It's actually flat and a bit. I don't know maybe. A one fourth inch uh, in thickness it's actually pretty good pretty solid she doesn't she doesn't wobble when you move i think that's a very good engineering for that side and it's actually pretty well hidden uh i think based on the uh how would say the shoe or how the design of the shoe that peg is quite hidden and it again it doesn't wobble then that means it's a, it's a very good um i would say it's a very good engineering for that case so going up further the color scheme is pretty amazing for this piece uh, i love the belt there's some texture in the belt really amazing stuff i also like the costume um the how would say the the details in the belt she has like a lot of stuff in the belt i think this was also highlighted by sideshow that this is one of the uh, how would say the let's say the easter eggs of this piece and i also love the fact that the how she is holding the um, i would say her hammer and like she's just she's enjoying this thing and she's like about to smack somebody or i guess batman and for that matter uh going up further i i i'm a bit picky with the skin tone so this is somehow like a tanned harley quinn good thing um she is not that only in in this part of the uh of the statue and not really the entire part because i really do think the skin tone is not that uh, top notch uh, I I have a feeling it's a bit like tanned. Um, this almost the same as the the Wonder Woman, but nonetheless she still looks amazing. I love the two portraits. Um, I I really like this one because again it's very vib. The red is very vibrant, uh, and I also like the green in her, in her face. It's pretty amazing. Uh, so you can actually have two switch out heads for the regular one. Uh, for the exclusive, it's only this uh, Jack in the box and. I actually prefer so before that I I love I love this one though I hope you can see look at that and I, I do like this one again it's very vibrant but I do prefer the how would say this one the unmask one um, for the reason is that she has a very nice how would say 
discoloration and uh, not the discoloration maybe the the how the the paint in her face that like um let's say is somehow messy near her her neck and that's actually good that makes it very realistic and also the i'm not sure what they call it for for the ladies eyeliners or something and it's dripping it's really good and there's a actually very like like angry or cute angry face of her and the hair also is really amazing that's one of the best things also for this piece i like how the strands fall down and how, how it, it flows as well really good stuff um to add more detail is the there's actually some stitching also in how would say in um in her dress or in her costume that's really good a lot of st stitching um also in the i'm not sure how it's called this one also the in the neck piece here for the clowns that one is also quite good there's also even details in the in the boots in her shoe that is also pretty good so more or less i really love the, this piece it's not something that is like super amazing piece like it has so much detail it has so much color discoloration weathering it's not like that but when you look at it it's it's somehow like comforting that you have a harley quinn and she's not actually that bad there's no problems in her it's uh, i mean it's just a typical uh, harley quinn and it's very easy to integrate her in in how i would say in in your card collection or in your batman collection so because she's very easy to uh, the base is that good that you can just put her there and she she works well with everyone so that is actually very good um my only concerns though are that there are because there are some small tiny details here there are a bit very delicate pieces so you do have to be careful so this is just um an amazing piece for me i really do like it um i didn't like the bat uh not the batman the joker um but i will pair her with uh wonder woman so she goes together with wonder woman two beautiful ladies so now for the ratings so again she's not a super amazing piece but i really like her uh, i really like the harley quinn uh so for queen uh pink quality um i give her four so again because i think there are some paints that i actually didn't like especially also the skin tone that one um so i i would say just uh 4.0 for color i really like the color scheme love it i do wish there were more the blue in the base were a bit lighter uh blue um so i'm giving it a 4.5 everything else is very amazing i really like it i really like how the colors especially in her face I love that really good stuff um, for weathering I didn't see much weathering to be honest um, I do see the again the, the neck part I really like that one how it's discolored that one is actually quite good also in her hair it's not that clean um, how would say not that clean paint I also like that one so I'm only giving the weathering as four as well uh, shadows and highlight not that much because she has a how would say a suit so I'm also giving it only a shadows and highlights for 4.0. For sculpt quality, I'm giving it a 5 because the sculpt is pretty amazing. It looks really good, really, really good. Um, for the texture, I'm also giving this a 4 uh, because I do wish, I, I really wish there were some parts of the, how would say, the body that it has some texture as well. Uh, but unfortunately there's not that much but I do like again the stitching the stitching is pretty good um, so weight and size I'm giving it a 4.5 it actually has a weight that's a really good thing about this piece it has a, a good amount of weight on it and for considering the size and also for the details and complexity I'm actually giving this a 4.5 uh, because there are a lot of details in the boots uh, you might see that it's a bit uh, smooth in the in the in the her suit, but there are different kinds of details. The hammer, there's a lot of details in this one. It's pretty good. Uh, the base also has a lot of details. The stitching, her face, her hair strands, uh, the expression that is actually pretty good. Especially also for the uh, this other head, it also has a very good details in it, and I really like that as well. So really good stuff for the sculpt for this one so i'm giving it uh details and complexity uh 4.5 uh for concept i'm giving it a five i really like this concept i really do wish 
some other statues is also like this one it's simple uh, can be easily integrated in the collection uh, has a let's say collectors I would say um, side where in your saving space especially for me uh, I it's dynamic uh, it has a very good color it has a very good uh, switch outs so I'm giving the concept as a 5.0 displayability definitely 5 as well uh, assembly assembly I do giving this a bit smaller it's a uh, 3.5 uh, one is because how would say because the how would, um, the the base I'm always afraid uh, that it wobbles it, it doesn't to be honest it doesn't um, um, but I'm afraid also for this parts um, when I uh, when I connect it I'm always afraid because it's a bit hard to connect the hands and I mean this hands uh, sometimes when I remove it that's even more difficult um, because again I'm afraid that it wobbles in, 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 in the, her shoe so I always hold it and then remove it the head as well uh, the neck um, this it doesn't really snug well uh, for this head but the other one is quite good the other one doesn't so that's why I'm giving this only a 3.5 for assembly and also for the fact that it's very delicate to hold um, because of this tiny pieces and especially in the base so just do be careful about that one so assembly 3.5 switch outs and mixed media I'm giving it a 5 I love the switch outs I really like it I also like the mixed media I think the wires are mixed media I think so and again it's very amazing stuff and I also love the exclusive so pretty good uh, this is a Harley Quinn premium format exclusive uh, from Sideshow Collectibles amazing piece really love it